Good morning, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about trades. So when I first started uh, my YouTube videos, one of the first things I did was a trade. So this here is a 2007 Gibson Custom Shop, 1957 reissue. It was number 63 of 157 made. Uh, long story short, uh, I got this pretty cheap on reverb from Canada and when I got it here I had cleaned it up put it up for sale I had no interest in it I thought I was gonna do good on it because most of the people that have one up for sale they wanted anywhere from ten to fourteen thousand dollars for it so I had mine up for eight uh, I got a couple tire kickers on it and then eventually uh, I got to talking to a guy named the blues man in South Carolina uh, he has his own website and on Reverb, so if you want to check him out, Blues Man Guitars. Um, ended up trading him for this 1976 Black Beauty Custom. This has got the three-piece neck on it, the Schaller style tuners, the Say Gibson. Uh, no weight relief, it is a pancake body. So long story short, when I got this guitar, uh, couple of the inlays were lifted and a little loose. It had DiMarzio Super Distortion pickups in it, and it came with the original T-tops. So I took this down to Lay's. They did all the fret work on it, um, the inlays. They reset them down in there. Uh, the T-tops were put back in it. I did, did not have the original pickup rings, so they had to replace the pickup rings. And I did not have the pickup covers put back on because I wanted everybody to be able to see that they are genuine t-tops and they are the ones that went with it so uh, the pots and capacitors all that are still original in it as well so anyhow this one is getting traded I'm taking this down to Lay's guitar loft this week and I'm trading with the owner uh, if you guys look back in my previous videos I had a 2015 Memphis ES uh, Les Paul gold top with the P90s so it was a hollow body Les Paul with the F holes and P90s in it. I'm trading for the same exact thing only with humbuckers so it's going to be a 2015 uh, VOS vintage old spec um, Memphis ES Les Paul gold top so there is a difference in them and a lot of people this is the problem that I had with my P91. Uh, it was worth a lot more than people wanted to pay for it because you can buy a special or a studio uh, Memphis ES Les Paul for just a couple grand. Uh, but the VOS, the vintage old spec gold top one is worth like four or five grand. Uh, you can pick those up for about 3,900 bucks. Um, but I'm going to hang on to this one and I'm going to go search for another P90 and try to start collecting as many Memphis ESs as I can. 345s, 335s, uh, the Les Pauls, 339s, whatever I can get my hands on. Um, because the Memphis plan is no longer. And my dad had a really good point that we should uh, collect them and uh, just sit on them. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to trade my 1976 that I desperately wanted for so long because I was born in 76 and this is a black beauty, the color I wanted and everything. Uh, so it's going to get traded. Eventually I'll buy another 76 and a 77. Um, I'll probably buy another 76 custom. I may even buy this one back from them someday, but uh, right now I really want to get a hold of the Memphis ES so that's what we're going to do. Friday we're going to go down and trade this away. It does have the original case as well. The outside of it looks pretty rough. Um, it's been around the block a few times since 1976. But it does have all the original purple lining in it. And it's actually in really good shape inside the case. And back in 1976, this guitar was a whole... $520. And there's the original case key. So this is going to be the last time you guys see this one on the show. Getting one more close look at it. 1976 Gibson Custom Black Beauty. 
uh, no weight relief pancake body, Schaller style Gibson tuners, T-top pickups, and gold hardware. So that's it. She is going to go goodbye. And that is it. So when we go down there to uh, to Lay's 2, there's a couple guitars that are hopefully will be there by the time we get there that are very special and I cannot wait to show you guys. And if you guys are interested in them, you'll have to go to Lay's to purchase them because uh, that's where they're at. So again, uh, thank you for watching. This thing is about to go and we're about to get another one back. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned.